Hello all, back in the shop. Just wanted to go over my offline controller unit that I'm using for my CNC. This is the Rat Ratum R A T T M motor. This one is the version 3.1 offline controller. The description in the description, I'll have a link to the manual that I have and used. It will show a version that's a 2.1, but is the same thing. This is just the updated version. The version I am using now is actually an outdated version. There's a new version. I just have not installed the update yet. This one I had purchased on Amazon. I'll also have a link to that purchase as well. There's another one that I have found that has a different style of connections in the back. And I'll try to open this one up and show I won't try. I'll open this one up and show you the connections in the back. And then you'll be able to, once you look at the different manuals, to see the different connections and figure out which one works best for you. It also does have a little bit different color scheme to the front, you'll see. All right, now let's take a look at the inside of the back here. Like I said, this is just a cardboard box I have to kind of hold my unit, but I will be making a wooden one in the future, and hopefully I have a video on that. So with this one, all the wiring does come in from the bottom of the unit and I ran it to the top just to give me more space for the wires here. So you're gonna have sections and on this side, we're gonna have our input port, which is gonna be basically your homing switches, your limit switches, probe, things like that, so like e-stops. Then you're gonna have your next section, which underneath you're gonna have your section, first section, second section, is gonna be your spindle and stepper motor ports. So you're gonna connect all those wirings. And if you move to this side, you'll have your third section right down here, which is gonna be your MPG ports or your manual ports generator. I believe there's 19 wires there. I believe you use 16 out of 19 and you'll use 17 if you're using your A axis. And then you have a USB port that goes right there. That's that extension that goes right up here. And then right to the right, the very right is gonna be the power in. It's gonna be an 18 to 32 volt uh, DC in there. And then right up the top here, let's see if we can get that. There we go, very difficult to see. This is where the USB extender went to the front. And then on this side, this right here, is gonna be the button from our water cooling for the spindle, but this wiring does not connect anywhere to this unit here. It just goes back to my power enclosure and it's wired to a solid state relay that I use to activate the, the power for the spindle, the water cooling for the spindle. Um, but let's go ahead and go over this. This unit controls my CNC, which you may or may not have seen a couple of videos on. Um, that black box there is going to be the MPG. It's called a manual pulse generator. That is basically like a remote unit I can use to manipulate my CNC. So let's get this turned on. We'll get you at least a little overview of the menu system. Now this box is just a cardboard box that I'm using to house the unit. I plan on building, using the CNC to actually build a, a wooden enclosure for it that I'll be able to move around. It'll be a handheld unit. This button here is going to be the button that I installed for my cooling for my spindle. It does have the option, there is a M9, M8, once it focuses, where it will turn on and off the cooling for the spindle. I was just not able to get it to work for the way I needed it, so I wired around it with a button that I can turn on and off myself. Uh, this here is an extension for a USB flash drive to not load, but to have files on there that the unit can read off of. The unit does not load the file off of the flash drive to the unit, so you do have to leave the flash drive in there because it reads from the flash drive. Um, I have had information that if you have a very long run that a flash drive may have an issue just because of the capabilities of the flash drive. Just something to kind of keep in mind. Now, as you go kind of through the menu system here, you're gonna have your, your axes, and these are gonna be the coordinates or the location of where your CNC is currently. Here's gonna be the mode that the system is in. Currently, it's in continuous. It does have a step, so you can move in steps, or it'll have an MPG, so you can use the manual pulse generator to manipulate the machine. Right now, reset is flashing because it is in reset mode. We'll actually have to hit the reset button or check the 
e-stop to make sure it is not tripped. This section here will give us the file that is currently running, and this will be the time that it has been running for. Now on this side, we're gonna have FR, which is gonna be for the, the feed speed. Uh, I just say feed speed operation. S is gonna be for their spindle operation speed. And then the SJR is gonna be the manual speed of the, mo the, the machine. When you're using the MPG or the offline controller to move it, but you're not running a file. Um, F is gonna be for the feed speed. That's when you're running this file. It's kind of the standard feed speed that gets set into the machine. And then you can adjust it by percentage here based on your material and what's gonna be there. So that's how fast your machine's running during a program. Here is gonna be the spindle speed that the spindle's gonna run that's set with the programming if you choose. For my needs, I choose to use the inverter to adjust the spindle speed and I can do that while the program's running and not have to worry about fumbling through the menus. And then you're gonna have your coordinates, um, where, where it's gonna start, and then these are gonna be operations to start and stop your spindle. I apologize, every time I do that, it kind of goes out of focus. Your M9, right to the right of that, is an M9, M8. That'll be to start and stop the cooling, the water cooling for the spindle. And then the M11, M10 next to it, which will be right there, is going to be for the lubrication if you're milling. Let's say metal, something that's gonna get hot while you're cutting and you need the oil or the lubrication to cool. That's where that would um, start and stop. Below that, you're gonna have a little section right down here, which turns into a sub menu uh, that you can read to give you a little bit more information as to what coordinate you want to reset, if you want to go to home, if you want to use your probe, and kind of give you a quick show of that too. This one will have three main pages that you can go through. So this will be your main page, which just kind of went through that information. The second is going to be your file page, and how you go through those is going to be the page button. Think of that as a menu button. So when you hit page or menu, you'll go from main to file page. And then from there you go file to parameter page. So that's for parameters. So you only have three, you cannot go back, you can only go forward through your system. And let's take a look here. So right now reset is flashing, so we do have to hit reset before we can do anything with the system. So it shows ready. Sorry, bumped the camera. And then we can hit our page and then it'll take us to our file page. Right now it doesn't have anything in there. The double dots is um, a back selection. So consider that a back selection. Right now, since there's no flash drive in here, there's nothing to read. So if we select, uh, which will be our enter or our home, that double dot will take us back and this will be pretty much the software that the machine's running on here. So we hit enter and then we're gonna hit page to go forward. And it's going to take us to our parameters page and this is everything you can change to get the machine to run or operate uh, to your liking or, or your needs. And we'll go back through and I'll just scroll down so that those of you who know what you're kind of looking at will see the capabilities of this unit. I will not be explaining majority of it because I am still very new to it, learning a lot of it. And I have not got this fully tuned to the way I'm using it learning my machine currently, but at least a lot of you will be able to see the capabilities. So if we hit page again, we'll go back to our main menu. So what we're gonna do, just gonna put in a flash drive right here, and then we'll hit the page button, and then this will be all the files that are on the flash drive. Now if you see the DIR, I believe that's directory, it means that there's more options in there. There's another submenu behind it. If you do not see it, that means that's the actual file that you would select to run that program. So let's go to our dust shoe, because I do have a video on that one if you'd like to see me running or creating a dust shoe. Uh, we'll hit enter. And then these are the files I used to create that dust shoe. Now if I want to go back and let's say I want to run the programs for my spoil board, the double dots is like a back selection. So once we select that, It'll take us back, and then I can go down to my spoil board, and then have the files that I ran to get my spoil board. Now if I wanna go back, you just hit the double dots to go back. I can hit page, or once you select your file, it'll take you back to the main page, and then you can hit run. 
these are the options and uh, I do apologize. I do have the audible beep on here because being in the shop, I do like to know when I have hit or selected an option. So if it does get a little annoying, I do apologize. That is an option you can turn on or off. You can set this for inches or uh, millimeters. You can set the electronic stop to trigger when it's pushed or trigger when it's um, reset. There's, there's a lot of different options you can do in here. So let's just kind of start going through. If you do need to see a little more, uh, just pause it. And before we start scrolling up, these are gonna be, this is just the top parameters where you start and then you'll see motor parameters. You'll have little dots that'll indicate when you're in the next section. Whoops, that one I hit enter. We're gonna leave that the same and we're gonna go down. There are options here. So that's gonna be our manual controls. This will be our automatic controls. Our coordinate system, spindle parameters, output signal, home parameters, probe parameters. If you have um, different tools, you can do that too. We have our hard limit parameters soft limit parameters, MPG parameters, external buttons. You can have two additional buttons, a start and a pause if you like. Backlash parameters. Here are your tool offsets. So if you have multiple tools and you have a tool changing uh, option or machine. And then this will be your system settings. And that'll be your last. And then you can use your left and your right to go to the next section completely instead of having to scroll all the way down. And then once you've selected the different parameters you wanna change, you would just hit page or your menu. It's gonna have that audible tone which just says it's reconfiguring the system, take you back to the main page. You can select your, your file, hit run, and pretty much be good to go. This one also does have a tool path. Right now it won't show you anything here, but when you're running a file, it'll give you a display of where it's at in the process, just in case you can't see your machine or you just want a, another display for it. And then you're gonna have your start, pause, reset, page, or kind of like your menu system, tool path. This is how I use the start and stop to spindle when you're not using a, a program. You can hit it, you'll see the spindle speed goes up there. Like I said, mine has no adjustment here. I use my uh, inverter to change the speed. The main controls, left, right, up, down for your menu, as well as the up, or I'm sorry, your Y axis, X axis. Your Z on this side is your A. And then here is kind of like your different selector to go through your feed, your spindle, uh, rates of speed. The second button here, when you push this one, it's going to give you a little submenu here. And this is that submenu I was talking about. So it'll show X where you can go to, so you can go to home. Um, you're going to have your Y, you can select Y if you want to zero all or just one of the axes out. Or even if you don't want a zero, you can select zero, but then you can input a coordinate that you want it to go to as well. You can select Z if you have your home uh, limits sweat set up. You can hit A if you want to use your probe, your tool probe. Or you can hit start. Let's say you wanted to start in the middle of a program or you had to stop in the middle of a program, power out or something tripped, um, a bit broke you would be able to restart your cut or your program back where it has stopped. And then that'll be pretty much most of what you would need to run this. When you are running the program, you will have your coordinates down here of where it's at in the process. So you can kind of see, like I said, take note of where you need to start back at if you need to stop during your, your process. 
And then if you need more information, like I said, please check out the description. I'll have the information I use there. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch the video. If you like the information, please hit the like button. If you um, need more information, definitely leave me information in the comments or a question about it. I'll do my best to get back to you with the information I have or get you in the right direction for it. It's also where I get a lot of information of what folks may want more information on. Thank you once again for watching the videos and as for me, it is back to work. Folks, have a good one.